your boy Chino here. We are here in Barrie, Ontario at Champs Academy. Uh, I'm here with Josh and we're gonna be, uh, this video actually is going to be how to utilize the different grips that we get from the collar control, okay? So we're gonna get collar control from so many different positions, from the mount, from the guard, from side control, from knee and belly, and even from the back. And it's always good to have at least a good set of options, sort of like go-to moves that you can do right off the bat, right? If you're always playing defense, you're never gonna score goals. But if you get going right away with a combination of defense and offense, you're gonna be able to have better jiu-jitsu and perhaps mount some kind of an offense, okay? So we're gonna give you an example from inside the guard. <clears throat> One of the uh, more common grips that you're gonna encounter is from inside the guard. So it usually comes from like, say, a scissor sweep. I grab, I open up, and I got control four fingers in, nice and tight in here, okay? Some people grab it low in here, and that's fine, different application. But I like to make you respect my grip, so I go nice and deep around the collar, and when I grab a grip, I, I bend my, my wrist this way towards myself, so I have a nice strong grip. So I go nice and deep, and I go there. Of course, now I'm gonna grab the sleeve, I hip out. If you look, I'm gonna have a typical scissor sweep. I block the knee in here, and I bring him on top of me, make him nice and light. Come on top, but I keep the grip. And I'm gonna come on top, and I'm gonna block on the other side, and that's gonna get me my nice, my nice and easy choke. So that'll be option number one. Option number two will be the same type of deal. Except now I'm gonna use the scissor sweep as a feint. So I'm still gonna open up, grab the collar in here. But notice the difference in this scissor sweep. I'm gonna make him think scissor sweep, so I'm gonna still gonna grab here. But watch, as I hip out, I no longer drop to the knee to cover. When I, when I hip out, I actually put my foot on his hip in here, and my leg is gonna go on top in here. Now if you notice, I'm already completely on the side. And now I'm gonna put my blade, the back of my blade, right onto his neck in here. And I do it sort of like in a C, not straight, just like this, like a C. So I go, oh, I'm here. And now I'm gonna grab his shoulder, I'm gonna lift his chin, and I'm gonna squeeze, and he's gonna tap. Okay, let's do that again. I open up, control, grab the sleeve in here, hip out, and I'm gonna put my foot on his hip. This is gonna stop that guard pass. In fact, as soon as I feel him trying to go to combat base, boom, I'm gonna put my leg right on the top, and that gives me a nice lateral control, going here, block, and squeeze. It's gonna give me a nice choke. I'm gonna do the same variation, except now, instead of having four fingers in, I'm gonna have one thumb in. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna put one thumb in, but every single time I'm gonna go nice and deep, enough that my blade is right ac across his carotid artery, nice and tight. So I'm gonna go here, nice and tight. Same thing, I'm gonna go here, hip out, foot goes to the hip, and I'm gonna go up. This is a lot tighter than the initial grip. Same thing though, I'm gonna go here, block, and squeeze, nice and tight. Was this one tighter than the other one? You gotta try just to understand what I'm talking about, this is a tighter grip. Let's do it again. Thumb in, grab. Hip out, foot to the hip, nice and high, block the other side, and squeeze. Nice choke. However, now you're already here. Check this out. If you notice, his hand is already around my hip. I'm gonna, let's say I try here, it's just not working, no problem. Look, I'm gonna throw my leg over here, right? And now my other leg is gonna come up. Looks like a normal plata, right? But look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shove my, my instep onto his neck in there. And if this is the situation that I have in here, I can reach over, grab my own toes, and that's gonna help me get a nice choke in there. But I also have this, look. I can push, 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 push. And I'm gonna get to here. And if you come around the corner to here, you're gonna see that my instep is still on his neck. So all I gotta do is just sit back. I sit back, and that's gonna give me the choke. If I wanna return to my omoplata, of course, I pose. I can always return to the omoplata, but I don't see a need for that because I would have already choked him up for sure, right? Now, I wanna bring your attention to this. If you come to this side, Remember when I threw my leg over and I got that omoplata in here? Sometimes, instead of grabbing the neck, I get lucky and I can grab under his arm. I like that a lot because it's a deeper control. So what I do when I grab his arm, I stretch my legs out in here 
And look, if you come to this side, what you're gonna see is, number one, he cannot roll forward, which is good for me. But number two, look, I can grab his wrist, I can wrist lock him. I can grab his tricep over here, and look, his arm is in a L shape, no problem. I can go up, and that's the shoulder lock. Or I can push up, 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 and that's an armbar right there. You can see his armbar is straight. So now not only do I push with my hands, I also stretch my legs out as I push his hand up. And that's gonna get me the nice arm bar from there. Of course, if you wanna do it just like very basic, same type of deal. You're gonna go here, here, hip out, foot to the hip, and nice, nice and top. If you look at here, my foot is nice and high every time. And I go through that choke, and a lot of times, this is all it takes. I go and I squeeze and that's it. However, take a look at how much space I have here. I can always go out, chop here, and now I'm in a triangle position. I'm gonna hip up, bring the arm across, bring it back down, control my shin, get my angle. Finesse that triangle. And now look, not only do I have the triangle, but I also have the arm bar, and I can go there or I can switch my leg to the other side and extend, and I have the arm bar as well. Let's take a look at that same grip, okay? Except this time around, we're gonna be on side control. When I'm in side control, I always wanna make sure that I'm ready for my opponent, so my legs are gonna be bent, my elbows are gonna be close to my body, my hands are gonna be right in front of me. This is always a good defensive position to be in if you end up in the bottom. When he takes side control, what you're gonna notice is, he takes side control, he lands perfectly in this position of 100 kilos, okay? When he's in 100 kilos, what you're gonna notice is that one of my hands is already on his hip, and the other hand is already on his shoulder. Oh, that's right, look, his collar is right there. So what do I do? I already know that I can attack. So what I do is I put my thumb in. Remember that choke that we just did? It requires a thumb in. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use my frame to bridge hip escape and I'm going to shield with my top leg. Watch. Bridge, hip escape, and shield. Now that I have my shield in here, it makes it very easy for me to paddle. I put my paddle right on his hip, but now look, I'm gonna attack with this. I'm gonna shoot my leg right through and to the top. Here, oh look, we're in the same position we were just recently. So I'm gonna do the same here and here, and I can choke. All right, let's do that again. Side control, I'm already on frame. He takes side control with 100 kilos, perfect. I'm gonna go thumb in, I go thumb in, and I'm gonna put my hand on his hip. I'm gonna bridge, hip escape, and I'm gonna shield. And my shield allows me to control the pressure of him coming in and out. No problem, I'm gonna put my foot on his hip. Now, and now I'm gonna go under, and up, and I'm gonna go here. Choke again. Of course, I could go to Omoplata, no problem, but he's fighting this a lot. Okay, and I feel I might lose him, no problem. Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna focus on controlling this side only. So I let go of this, and I grab with this hand right here. And now I'm gonna go here. My foot drops to his hip, here. And I push him out. And now look, I can take my foot out, shut his head, Triangle, and now I can focus on the triangle and the armbar, or like we did before, switch my leg to the other side, and I have that again. Let's look at that again. But now we're gonna add a hip hiccup in between. He's on side control. I'm here. I know I can put my thumb in there. Nice strong hook. I'm gonna put my hand on his hip. Bridge, hip escape, shield. After the shield comes the paddle. The paddle is right there. So now I'm gonna go here and here. Awesome control. I try, I try, maybe it didn't work, maybe it didn't, most of the time for me it works. But always give yourself options. Look, this is the other option. Ah, it didn't work, no problem. I'm gonna focus on this side. So I go here. One hand controls the collar, one hand controls the sleeve. And now my other foot goes to the hip and I center him, I push, 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 push. Obviously from here I go to the triangle, however, this time around, he's going to counterattack. So he grabs my pant leg in here, right? Because he wants to pass my guard. No problem, you can still do it. Look, I can push that away, pull him into me, and I can still get there. 
The fact that he's grabbing my, my pad leg is irrelevant to me because I can still use my leg to push that arm away. Okay? Now you grab my knee, no problem. Grab my knee, look, I go over, push. No control. You can grab uh, lower on my leg, L lower, there you go. And here, to try to control my leg, no problem. Look, I can go on the knee and push. No control. And now I can go all the way to my triangle. I can go here, arm bar, or switch my leg over and arm bar again. I want to show you a little bit of a different use for the frame, shield, and paddle, which is an amazing thing that I've uh, incorporated into my game. Check this out. If I'm here, so I control 100 kilos, I'm here, okay? Actually, it's a wrestler spin. Okay, so I'm here, okay? So this is my frame. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to bridge, hip escape, shield. But when I get my shield, look, I'm already going on the hook here, okay? This hand is gonna come and grab the wrist, and this hand is gonna come towards me. So I grab the wrist, this hand comes towards me, but now I pull my knee out. And if you notice, my shin is right at the bend of his elbow, right there. And watch what I'm gonna do. As soon as I do that, I'm gonna put my knee right up. My leg is up because it's going to become a locking mechanism. And so as I have my locking mechanism ready to go, look what I do, I pull this hand towards me. I'm Guatemalan, so I have very bony shins. So when I pull hard, he's not gonna like it. So I pull only to release, shove his head through here. And now the locking mechanism comes out here. And now I have a, a triangle from here. I can squeeze my legs. He's on the top. Or look, I have an arm bar here. So I go with my blade back here. I find his elbow. I push it down and I do a sit up. And that's going to be an arm bar. Or I can squeeze an arm bar. Two for one, my friend. It's always better. Two for one. So go here. And you get him as well. Let's take a look at that again. Okay. So I'm on side control, I have my frame, he's got the wrestler's pin, bridge, hip escape, shield, on the hook, hand comes over here, point your shin out. You see how I broke his posture? My locking mechanism comes up right away. So I'm gonna now pull, release, push his head through, one, and lock it. Squeeze my knees together, and that's gonna give me the triangle. Grab that arm bar and do a sit up or do both. Squeeze and squeeze. Sit up and you get both. Two for one, it's always better. As you can see, there are several uses of collar control. Now you can go four fingers in. You can go thumb in. But inevitably, you're making use in an offensive way rather than just being like, I need to change my position. I'm losing the game and I just need to either sweep, come on top. Those are good things too. But wouldn't it be better if you're always attacking your opponent and your opponent is always trying to adjust to your movement. They are playing your game, you're not playing their game. However, you should be proficient at their game so that you can always change it around and make them play your game. What I want you to do now is if there's a specific area of this video that you want to train, by all means, stop the video right now, go back, and go to that area and drill it a lot. I'm going to throw a whole bunch of techniques to you guys. I expect you to at least try one. Four fingers in or thumb in. Go try it out from all the positions that I showed you. This is your boy, Professor Ramirez from Champs Academy in Barrie. We'll see you next time. Os. Os.